Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a flight simulator game uh, showing the effects of thrust, drag, lift, and weight, and we're going to be using Scratch to create this flight simulator. And hey, if you're new to coding or if you need a refresher, please check out my Learn to Code videos on my channel on YouTube, and I suggest that you subscribe to Pecorini because I'm going to be releasing videos uh, weekly and monthly. Uh, anyways, we're going to go to Scratch for today's activity where we're going to be creating a flight simulator. So I'm going to Scratch right now. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating a brand new game. If a tutorial pops up, just exit the tutorial. Also, get rid of the cat. So I'm going to click the garbage can and say goodbye to the cat. And since we're making a flight simulator game, we need an airplane. And unfortunately, there aren't any airplanes in Scratch. So we're going to quickly make our own airplane. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Choose a Sprite button right down there. I'm going to scroll down. There's this thing called a magic wand magic wand right there so I'm gonna double click magic wand and now I'm going to turn this into a, a really simple airplane look how I do that I'm gonna to go to the costumes of the magic wand and then I'm just gonna color it and add a few lines and turn it into an, an airplane so look how I do that I'm gonna click this line right there I'm gonna make it a dark color whoops let's make the color first so I'm gonna to go to a nice dark color black Perfect, like that. You can choose whatever color you want. Then I'm going to ch ch click this line button and I'm going to make a nice thick line, maybe like a four. And now I'm just going to start adding some lines to it. So maybe right from there, all the way up to there. Perfect. Now I'm going to go straight up from here. Perfect. Now I'm going to go straight down from there. Perfect. Um, I'm going to get the bucket and I'm going to use black again. I'm going to fill in these parts black, like there, right there. I'm going to get another line which is again black and I'm just going to fill in these spaces where the bucket couldn't reach so like that and like that and like that perfect there we go uh, I'll keep doing that and make it look really good I'm also going to add a wing so I'm going to use the line again I'm going to add a line there and add a line there like that perfect I'm just going to fill that in nice and then maybe one more smaller one down there like that Wonderful. Maybe I'll try to connect that. Perfect, like that. Hey, that looks good. I'm also going to erase these uh, magic wand lightning bolts, and I'm going to do that with the eraser button right there. So I'm going to click the eraser. I'm going to go down here, hold the button down, and carefully not tip my plane, get rid of that. And I'm also going to get rid of that. Scroll up and down a little bit, and goodbye. Wonderful. So there, that is done. So there is my airplane, which I've uh, modified from the magic wand. So now we're going to code it so the airplane, uh, first of all, starts in the middle of the screen. And uh, I'm going to do that by going to green flag. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. There we go. And when the green flag is clicked, I want my airplane to go to the middle of the screen, which we all know is 0, 0. Um, right there, 0 and 0. So great. He should go to the middle of the screen. Perfect. Now I'm going to code it so that when we use our arrow keys on the keyboard, the plane will go up or down or left and right. And then we can simulate thrust, drag, lift, and weight by using our arrow keys. So watch how I do that. Uh, I think we've done this in many other videos before, but in case you can't remember, that's all right. I'm going to go grab this when the space key is pressed. But instead of space, I'm going to click the right arrow. So when the right arrow key is clicked, I want the plane to go back just a little bit. So I'm going to go to the motion, and we know that left and right is the X uh, coordinates, so I'm going to change X by 10. So it should go back words if I click the right arrow, and it does. Perfect. So that is the drag acting on the plane. I'm going to duplicate this, two fingers on the touchpad, right there, bring it down. I'm going to make this the left arrow key. And I'm going to change that by negative 10. So that's perfect. So that's thrust. So there's backwards. That's drag. There's forwards with the right arrow key or left arrow key. That's thrust. Perfect. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get a space key. But instead of space key, it's going to be the up arrow. And for up and down, we know that we use the Y coordinates. So I'm going to go to motion. Change the Y by 10. Perfect to go up. I'm going to put my uh, two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate this. Perfect. When the down arrow key is pressed, change Y by negative 10. So there we go. Green flag, center, left, right, 
up and down perfect hey we need a good backdrop this plain white backdrop is no good uh, you can choose whatever one you want but I'm gonna go and choose uh, blue sky I think I'm gonna click there and it's called blue sky right there wonderful so that's the first part where we've made our plane go up down left and right to mimic thrust drag lift and weight and I've got a nice backdrop Okay, next, we need to make this game a little bit more interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have objects flying by that you either gotta catch or you gotta avoid getting hit. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is go get some fuel. Fuel for the plane, and I think it's called potion. Kinda looks like a container of fuel. Right there, potion. I like the green one, right there. Perfect. So I'm gonna have the fuel start way over here. And then every once in a while, it's going to slide across the screen and you got to catch the fuel to give yourself some more energy so that your plane can continue. So watch how I code this one. So when the green flag is clicked, um, I want to start way over here somewhere. So go to over there. Perfect. Go to um, right there. Nice. But instead of this Y spot of 56, like exactly right there, I want to start somewhere up here or down here or down here, somewhere randomly from the top to the bottom. I always wanted to start on the side like this, but somewhere between the top and the bottom. So watch how I code this. I'm going to go to the operators button and we're going to get a random number. So instead of Y56, it's going to go a random 150, which is close to the top all the way down to negative 150 which is close to the bottom so let's see where it goes ready green flag perfect at the bottom middle top very high top perfect so it's going like that just right so now i want to slide or glide across the screen screen so i'm going to have it move 10 steps and i'm going to have it repeat itself over and over again until it gets to the other side i don't think 10 times is enough let's see ready green flag and go no, it's got to go way over there, so probably about 45 or so. Ready? Let's try again. Ready? Green flag. Nice. Perfect. 45 is just right. But then I want it to hide when it gets over there, so I'm going to go to the looks button right there. I'm going to get a hide, and after it's moved to the end, it hides. And of course, in order for it to work again, I have to have it show. So there, and then I'm going to put a forever loop around the whole thing so that'll just happen over and over again so watch this so when a green flag is clicked it's going to forever go to this part of the screen somewhere it's going to show itself then it's going to go all the way across the screen to the end and then it's going to hide and then it's going to do it again and again let's see ready perfect look at that wonderful right on so that is working really smoothly I'm gonna do the same thing for another creature so the fuel we want to catch but we don't want to get hit by an owl or a bird or something a bat a flying bear you choose but I'm gonna go and choose the owl I kinda of like the looks of the owl for this game come on owl where'd you go here owl there it is and I like the owl costume with the wings spread wide. However, it's kind of big, so I'm going to make it, instead of 100%, I'm going to make it about 50%. Perfect, like that. Now, watch. Instead of coding all of that stuff over again, I'm just going to go to the potion. I'm going to grab it like this and drag it over to the owl and let go. And now I have it on the potion. See, that's the potion. It should also be on the owl there it is right there so now I've got the owl and the bird I'm sorry the owl and the fuel going across so that's good one problem they're kind of going at the same time so um, I'm gonna put a weight in here so instead of starting right away let's have it wait a random amount of time so I'm gonna go get another random button so random maybe instead of every one second one to ten seconds so watch the owl I don't know when it's going to go. It's going to go every 1 to 10 seconds. Perfect. Now I'm going to also do it for the potion. Have it go and wait a random amount of time before it starts. Just so the game's not too easy. So right there, wait a random amount of time. 1 to 10 seconds. Perfect. Good. So there's that. Okay, next, I'm gonna add um, something interesting to the game. Let me just pause here for a moment. So now, if the airplane touches the fuel, it says something like, good job. 
if it touches the owl, it says, ouch. So what shall I code that? I'm going to go back to the uh, airplane. It's going to move this over a little bit so we have some more room to work. Now, I want it to forever touch or check to see if it's touching the potion. So when a green flag is clicked, forever check to see if touching potion. Forever. If touching potion. So if. There's the if. I'm going to grab that. Touching the potion, so touching is a sense, and all of this has been covered in my Learn to Code videos, so um, if you need a refresher, you might want to check those videos out. Uh, touching the potion. So, green flag, forever touching potion. If it is touching the potion, then I want it simply to say, good job, for two seconds. Say, good job, for two seconds. So, right there. Wonderful. So, if I touch the potion, it says, good job. Let's just test that out really quickly. Come on, potion. Oh, I'm good at coding these games, but I'm not so good at playing these games. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure that's going to work just like that. Again, I don't want to uh, recode all of this for the owl. So, look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab this and uh, duplicate it. And now, if touching the owl, say ouch for two seconds. There we go. Hey, if you want to add sound effects, this would be a perfect time. So whenever the plane hits the potion, um, it makes a collect sound. And you can find that by going to the sounds button, going here and checking for the sound effects right there. You can also add uh, a clunking sound, for example, if the airplane hits the owl. And again, those are in the sound effects. You can also add points if you like. You go to the variables and you create points for your airplane and add points uh, to touching the potion and take away points for touching the owl. Hey, but we're missing one important thing and that is instructions on how to play the game. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the backdrops. And I'm going to get another backdrop. I'm going to get another backdrop that's exactly the same as the original one we started with. So I'm going to get a second blue sky. And so now we have two black backdrops, blue sky and blue sky 2. And so on blue sky, I'm going to write a whole bunch of information. I'm going to use the T for text. I'm going to choose the right color. And then I'm going to write right on the backdrop a whole bunch of information. For example, you can see my original game. I wrote down, use the arrow keys to see how it forces affect flight. I explained what lift was and how it pushes the plane upwards. Drag pushes the plane backwards. Uh, thrust pushes the plane forwards and weight pulls the weight plane downwards. And then an instruction like this. As the pilot, you must catch the fuel and avoid the birds. So I suggest you write on your backdrop this information to show at the beginning of the game. So you'll be writing here, for example, um, use the arrow keys to move the airplane, to move the airplane, fabulous right there. That one is done. I'm going to do it again with other information about thrust, drag, lift, and weight. And then you simply have to code it so that this screen appears at the beginning of the game. So when a green flag is clicked, um, switch to backdrop one. So I'm going to go to the looks button and switch to backdrop blue sky. So that's at the beginning of the game. And then wait for five seconds and then switch to backdrop two. So that gets rid of all of the writing and it doesn't impede your playing. Wait five seconds and then switch to backdrop blue sky two. Almost done. Um, so at the beginning, we don't want the words to be writing over top of the plane and potion and owl. So if you like, you can have the game pause before the wand, the potion and the owl starts. You just put in a green flag, hide, wait for five seconds, then show and go to the different spots that they're supposed to go to. So there's our game, a flight simulator. I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope to see you for our next lessons. And I look forward to following you on or seeing you on YouTube. Thank you.